Hi, I'm Spencer Gordon with Perfect Circle Renewable Energy. We make biodiesel fuel from waste vegetable oil that comes out of restaurants and deep fryers. We uh, have a 1,400 gallon waste vegetable oil collection truck here. This is running probably three days a week at the least. And uh, we fill it with the wet, uh, restaurant grease and then we put it into our 1,200 gallon waste oil settling tank over here. The process is pretty simple. You heat this tank to 130 degrees, and the water is heavier than the oil. It falls to the bottom of the tank along with the solids. Then we drain the water and the solids over into this 250 gallon schmutz tank. After settling the oil, we put it into our filtration process. The filtration process is essentially a 275 gallon tank with a centrifugal pump that runs a one micron centrifuge that spins out any residual solids that are left over from the settling process. After we've done that for about 30 to 45 minutes, we use this bag filter and, and filter housing to filter it down again to less than 500 microns and it goes into this 275 gallon tank where the oil is stored until it goes into our reactor. From the waste vegetable holding tank, the oil is put into our 250 gallon universal reactor. There's a couple different functions of this reactor. One is it's actually where the reaction occurs, where the biodiesel is made, and the glycerin is separated from the biodiesel. So the initial stage is to load the reactor with the chemicals, methanol and potassium hydroxide. At that point, the reaction occurs within two hours. The glycerin settles out in about six to eight hours and is drained into another tank. Glycerin periodically has to be loaded back into our reactor about every three batches so that we can distill the alcohol out of it and it can be used in other processes such as cosmetics manufacturing, animal feed, or even compost. After the alcohol has been distilled out of the biodiesel, it's ready for the wash step. This, these wash tanks have three different functions. Washing, settling, and drying. The wash occurs in a fine spray. As the water falls down through the biodiesel, it gathers any residual potassium and forms soap, which ends up in the bottom of the tank, as you can see. The next step is to dry the fuel, which takes a three-part process. One is blowing hot air into the tank. The next is bubbling air up through the bottom of the tank, and then also circulating the fuel through a one-inch line that sprays fuel against the sidewall of the tank and creates a lot of agitation. All of this is so that the water will evaporate into the air and be carried out through this ventilation duct up here. At the end of this process, after 24 hours, you have almost finished biodiesel. It has to pass through one more step. After the fuel has been dried, pass it through this sprinkle fellow over here, ion exchange dump. This is filled with a bead resin and is really a redundant polishing step that ensures that our fuel has no residual chemicals in it once it passes into our terminal tank. The terminal tank is where the fuel goes into our delivery truck. The entire process of making biodiesel fuel takes about four days. Biodiesel can be run as a diesel fuel alternative in any diesel vehicle without modification. It burns 75% cleaner than diesel fuel, is non-carcinogenic, and extends the engine life of your vehicle. You might ask yourself, how much energy does it take to produce one gallon of biodiesel? Actually, for every one unit of energy in, biodiesel produces three units of energy. One way at Perfect Circle that we increase our energy output and our efficiencies in our process is by using waste vegetable oil, glycerin, and unusable biodiesel to heat the tanks in our process with this 200,000 BTU boiler. In other words, 50% of the energy we use to produce our biodiesel comes from the process itself. Thanks for watching. It's time to go pump some grease.